There's no brake, just you push it right through. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So, so I'm going to speak up with the man in the middle of that against HP Sharp. That's your one. Because there's no proof we have to push over that and several things. Yeah. 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 Just to yeah. have a recall of the HP family, it's a set of lightweight modification protocols, especially designed for lightweight or really constrained devices such as Terrifying Ds. So, generally speaking, we have the tab in the reader showing a secret. Okay, it's two secrets, X and Y. And they engage in a protocol where the tab sends a value vector B, the reader answers with a challenge A, then the tag answers with a set, including some error that's done, which is accepted by the reader if the number of errors is very small. There were several versions of this protocol, namely HB, HB plus, plus plus, MB, uh, star. Different. The difference between all these versions is the size of the keys and that uh, also some tricks between them. But in HP sharp, X and Y are matrices, and Z is a vector. And uh, the amplification is also done in only one round. <laughs> the last model in which this protocol has been studied is the Gibra security model, in which we consider adversaries who are able to modify messages coming from the reader to the tab and have also access to a side channel information. <coughs> which tells them if the protocol succeeded or not. Actually, HP Sharp has a poor security in this model, but the security in a full man in the middle of time where the adversary is able to modify messages in both directions is still an open problem. So, obviously, in this model, it doesn't work because we have an attack. So, uh, the goal of our attempt is to compute Given the toggle A bar, B bar, Z bar is to compute the handling weights or the errors that are introduced in Z bar. To do this, we just, in many sessions, we add to the messages B, A, Z, B bar, A bar, Z bar, respectively. And by some computation, we can see that this is accepted only if the weight of, of Z, the original response of the tab, added to the, to the weight of the of the Z bar and introduced this particle. So obviously this depends the acceptance range depends on W bar and using statistics we can deduce the value of W bar. Using this oracle our attack is twice straightforward since we have an adversary who gets A bar, B bar, Z bar using a passive attack just like it's working on the session. Then we use the oracle we just seen to get the weight of the errors. Then we change every bit of Z one by one to compute the value Z without the errors. And then we solve the linear system to get X and Y. This is right. For the complexity of the attack, so depending on the parameter set in HP sharp, we need between 2 to the 25 to 2 to the 21 authentication round, which is in any case much lower than the 2 to the 80 conjectures. And one important remark is that our attack is made against all HP-like protocols, but we are still working on many optimizations. We think that we can reduce the complexity a little bit. That's good. So, thank you for your attention. Any, any questions or comments on that one from the floor? I think it's a really interesting result about a paper present. It's going to be presented tomorrow. Okay.